Hello. In this video, we would like to talk about how we can reach the market equilibrium. So I will show you this market equilibrium through a very simple example. You can notice we will have our demand curve and supply curve, right? So this is our quantity of the goods. I still put it in the horizontal axis and I put the price of the goods on vertical axis. As far as we know that the demand curve is downward sloping, right? Prices lower, consumers would like to buy more products. Prices higher than consumers will reduce their consumption of the products. So the demand curve will be downward sloping. However, the supply curve will be different because from seller's perspective, if the market price is higher, which means probably their products can bring more profits, then sellers would like to offer more products. So prices higher, sellers would like to offer more products. However, prices lower, then sellers would just offer fewer products. Then supply curve is upward sloping, demand curve is downward sloping. They will intersect at one point, and this point will be our market equilibrium points. Okay, so I mark it here. This will be our equilibrium. So for market equilibrium price, we can find out this is the market equilibrium price. I mark it as a P superscript to E. And we can also find out the market equilibrium quantity at QE. However, the market is not always reach this market equilibrium price, right? The price could be fluctuates. It could be higher, it could be lower than the market equilibrium price. Then what will happen if the market price is higher? So let's see. Suppose now the market price is higher. Then I will mark another point here, P1. So you can notice P1 here, we can find out a correspondent quantity demand if price increase to P1. Now you can notice the price is higher. So consumers would just like to buy the Q1 products. However, price is higher from seller's perspective. They would like to offer more products. So I mark it as Q1 and superscript to S, which represents for the quantity supply when price is P1. And we can also notice at this price, we have P1 larger than equilibrium price. And we also have our quantity demand smaller than quantity demand. Uh, so, sorry, quantity demand smaller than quantity supply, right? And which will result in surplus. So here we were facing a market surplus. And we can also compute the surplus of the goods, which will just equal to Q1S, which is the quantity supply minus the quantity demand. If the market has surplus, in order to sell those products, then sellers, what can sellers do? The sellers, they might reduce the price, right? So they will lower the price a little bit, which will encourage consumers to buy more products. Therefore, when the price at P1, this is not stable because sellers, they will try to lower the price a little bit to encourage consumers to buy more products. Therefore, if markets facing this circumstances, then the price would decrease until market reach, until reaches the equilibrium price. So you can notice if the price is larger than equilibrium price, it will result in surplus. And the price can be lower until it reach the market equilibrium again. Okay, so this is when the market price is higher than equilibrium price. Then let's look at another case. So similarly, I will first draw a graph. Quantity is still on the horizontal axis. The price is still on the vertical axis. 
demand curve downward sloping, supply curve upward sloping. They will intersect at one point, right? This is still our equilibrium price, equilibrium point. So this is still our equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, so we can also have our equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. However, if now the market price is lower, so maybe the market price now is here, P2. Then at this market equilibrium price, we can find out sellers, they are reluctant to offer the products. Therefore, the quantity supply will just equal to Q2 superscript to S. But for consumer's perspective, price now is lower, so the consumers would like to offer, or oh, sorry, would like to buy more products, which increase the quantity demand, right? Then I will write it down when the price is smaller than equilibrium price. What will happen? We have the quantity demand now larger than quantity supply. And what will happen? It will result in market shortage, right? The market now face shortage. So if the market face the shortage and what's the number of this shortage how many goods in the shortage then we will use the quantity demand minus the quantity supply to get a shortage quantity and if the market at those circumstances the price is lower than equilibrium price there is more demand than supply this is not a stable circumstances because at this part Consumers, in order to buy more products to satisfy their demand, they might beat the price, right? And then that will increase the price a little bit, and which might encourage sellers to produce more products. So, at this case, price will increase until reaches the market equilibrium price. So, this is the second case when the market price is not doesn't equal to the equilibrium price okay so you can notice the price now is lower than market equilibrium price it will result in shortage and what will happen to the price finally so price will actually goes up until they reach the equilibrium price okay so I hope this video can help you have a better understanding about the surplus of the market, the shortage of the market, and the market equilibrium. Thank you for watching.